Hi, I'm Pastor Darren, and welcome to Word for the Week. I want to talk to you today about overcoming unbelief. In Mark chapter 9, Jesus has been approached by a man whose son is possessed by a demonic spirit. And the disciples hadn't been able to help him, and so he was eager to come to Jesus so that this spirit could be removed from his son. And he asked Jesus if he could do it. Jesus said to him, anything is possible for those who believe. Now immediately, and we see this in verse 24, the boy's father exclaims this, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. Of course, Jesus cast the spirit out of the boy and restored him to his father. But here's what I want us to consider. There is a real good chance that we have each had those moments in our lives when we just felt like we didn't have enough faith. We weren't sure we had enough belief in us for what God was wanting us to do or what God was calling us to be or that God could take care of something going on in our life. Maybe up here we got it with a, yeah, God can, God's capable, God can do it. But will he do it for me? Will he do it in this situation? Well, what we saw from this father was this. He did believe that Jesus could do it. But he also acknowledged the fact that, well, maybe there's some doubt in me somewhere. I believe, I want to believe, but Lord, help me with my unbelief. And this is good news for all of us. Because in those moments when doubts arise, in those moments when we feel unsure or uncertain, that's when we just acknowledge it. Lord, I believe in you. I know you can do this, but help me with my unbelief. I want to have all doubts removed. I just want to trust in you. So if you have moments when you have doubts or your belief seems to be faltering, just acknowledge it and ask Jesus, help me with my unbelief. And he will. He'll strengthen us. He'll encourage us. He'll shore us up so that we can stand firm in our faith because we are equipped through him and the Holy Spirit. And he will see us through. I'm Pastor Darren. That's your word for the week. God bless and have a wonderful day. 